All right, Rich here from the RC Network, and in the background you're going to kind of hear a fan going off. Um, that is the new Hi-Tech X4 AC Plus Multi-Charger. Uh, this will be the full review of this charger. I've had it for about a week and a half, two weeks now, and I will go through all of the pluses, minuses, and real-world experience with it at a local track. So... Let's go ahead and start with, obviously, what it is. Uh, this is a um, higher-end charger. It's probably not of the top echelon of touch screens and all that good stuff. Uh, this is made by Hitech, the same company that makes those great servos. Uh, this is a multi-charger. The biggest difference on this one from any other charger out there is uh, this charges four batteries at a time. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, obviously, single chargers and also uh, dual chargers. There's a few of the, of the quad ones on the market. Um, I picked this one based on the price point and also that high-tech is, is pretty local to me if there is any warranty issues on it. As far as what it charges, uh, as you see in front of you, I'm charging four 2S LiPos right now. Uh, but it also charges life batteries, lithium ion, nickel, metal hydride, NICAD, and also lead batteries uh, with, with some of the selected connectors. Um, this charger is a pretty powerful charger, uh, excluding a external power supply. Um, in my situation right here, I do not need an external power supply to power it. Um, it's a full 200 watt charger uh, 50 watts per channel and there's obviously four channels um, excellent charger so far that I've experienced um, I, I'm primarily using 2s lipos right now in the hobbies that I am pursuing but it will charge up to 6s lipos now as far as charge times that I've experienced and I'm just doing a one amp charge uh, most of the time I, I'm experiencing about a, a one hour charge time for a 2S LiPo. Now, given that you can drop on multiple LiPos at different times, it's very convenient in a, a track setting where you want to keep getting out on the track and either testing your equipment, racing, or whatever you're doing at the track. Now, given that, it is a little bit larger of a charger and uh, probably about double the size of a single uh, channel charger. Now you'll see that it has four different uh, LED displays. That means you can charge all sorts of different things on it. It's not like you can only charge 2S LiPos or 3S LiPos or whatever you're charging. So definite plus, you can um, uh, definitely go through all of the settings. It has multiple modes, um, in my case for LiPos. You can definitely do a regular charge, you can do a fast charge, you can do a full discharge, and you can also do a storage, which I am actually doing here. I'm not going to make it back to my track for probably a couple of weeks, and I want to definitely preserve the life of my batteries by putting them in a storage mode. And that basically means that it's going to charge it or discharge it, depending on where the, the, the voltage of the battery is, um, down to a level where it's safe to store. Uh, you, you never want to leave a battery that's fully discharged or fully charged. It just weakens the battery over time and could lead to you know different things that lipos are known for, which are definitely puffing and also exploding and catching on fire. No one likes that. So uh, really quick, let's go through what was included. And I've used some of the parts, so I'll try and explain that as I go. Um, it comes with a, a pretty nice box. I'll kind of show you guys that here. Pretty nice box from high tech. It is fully, as I called it, hermetically sealed. Um, comes with a nice instruction manual. I put this in my pit bag just so I have it. Um, the LED displays are somewhat disorganized to a certain degree, so I definitely use this for reference. It has a, a good little picture on here that definitely helps. Um, and they call it the flow chart, and it kind of gives you, you know, what to hit next and what, what's the next screen, kind of gets you a, a, a road map of what you're looking for. Now, with that, some of the connectors it came with, 
It comes with three balance ports, and this is probably the most controversial thing of this high-tech charger. Um, it's a four-port charger. Now, a lot of the duals and the singles, they give you lots of extra pieces and whatnot, but being that it's a four-port charger, I definitely respect that high-tech has kept the price pretty low on this thing, considering it's a four-port. Um, I paid $195 for it. I found it on sale somewhere, which is a pretty good deal. Um, so they give you a good starting point with some of the um, uh, connectors. So it does give you a uh, Hyperion balance port, also a Thunder Power, and I'm actually using the XH adapter, which does kind of like all your Chinese batteries, your Gen's Ace and Turnigees and all those kind of things. So as far as uh, terminal leads, it gives you a few of them. and. My biggest concern on these was the thickness of the wires, and I'll kind of show you guys here. It gives you two of these guys, you know, gold banana plugs, up to um, ready to solder ends, so you can put whatever connector you use. It gives you one of these Tamiya plug ones that you can also clip off if you need to and use that. And then it also gives you this little kind of receiver one, which I've kind of not figured out what that's for. Um, with that, it gives you a battery one. You can also clip this one off. Use that one if you need to, up to the gold banana plug. So if you're charging any kind of non-normal battery. And then it also gives you this nice um, DC lead. And these are just banana plugs underneath here that these things clip onto. So if you're charging from a battery if you're out in the field or, or whatnot. So that's basically all the connectors it comes with. It gives you a good start and given that the price point is still pretty low on this, it'll allow you to afford whatever connectors you want. Now I did go out and purchase four of these but given that they weren't gold connectors and I just didn't have a good feeling about these, I went ahead I'm gonna return these. These were $2.99 a piece. I decided to go ahead and make my own. I had some Novak 12 gauge wire. I bought some banana plugs, pulled up four Dean's plugs, and I soldered those things together myself. So it gave me a good feeling that I did it and it's, it's good quality stuff, so I get a good charge. So that's all the connectors. As far as the negatives, and let's go into that really quick, and, and these are very minor, please bear with me. Um, I kind of like to keep my charger in good condition. Uh, the box that it came in, this guy right here, it, it's okay, but it falls apart. And you can kind of see here, and it has a nice kind of styrofoam case, but I kind of wish it came with a, a box that you can kind of carry to the track and keep it somewhat nice. Only other downfall that I found on this charger so far, and it's going to be hard to point out now that my charger is running, um, was where the connector goes in from the balance port into the charger. Now on a normal charger, it kind of gives you that little plug adapter, it just kind of plugs and snaps right in. On this one, it kind of has seven little prongs there that you kind of have to guide its way in to make it fit. So those are the two downfalls I've seen so far. Slight downfall would be the complexity of the programming on this, you know, and maybe it's just me getting used to it overall that's all the negatives I have on it so far. Positive, I can race and race and race at my track and not stop because I'm just dropping battery on after battery on. I'm actually getting tired of racing um, from not running out of batteries. So I'm running about five to six LiPos right now and I'm able to just keep dropping them on there and, and keep charging them. So definite positive here. Um, that's basically it for now. If you have any questions about this high-tech charger, uh, please post them on down below. And as always, if you like the channel or like this video, hit that like button and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.